And my, my second question is on your trip to Saudi Arabia, which is coming up next month. Uh, as we just discussed, Americans are paying almost $5 a gallon nationally on average for gas. So uh, do you expect to ask the crown prince or the king to increase oil production? And if so, how will you balance that uh, with your desire to hold them accountable for their human rights abuses? Well, first of all, that's not the, uh, the purpose of the trip. Uh, the purpose of the trip, uh, my, first of all, I'm starting off on that trip in, in Israel. Um, and uh, the Israelis are, believe it's really important that uh, I make the trip. Um, and uh, in addition to that, what we're trying to do is the G7, it's the, uh, uh, the Gulf states plus three. And so I'm sure it's in Saudi Arabia, but it's not about Saudi Arabia. It's in Saudi Arabia. And so there's no commitment that is being made or uh, I'm not even sure. I guess I will see the, the king and the crown prince, but that's, that's not the meeting I'm going to. They'll be part of a much larger meeting. And what we're talking about in dealing with that trip is that before I go, uh, I'm, as I said, going to Israel to meet with the Israeli leaders to affirm the unbreakable bond Israel and the United States have. And part of the purpose is the trip to the Middle East is to deepen Israel's integration into the region, which I think I'm, we're going to be able to do, and uh, which is a good, uh, good for peace and good for is Israeli security. And that's why Israel leaders have come out so strongly for my going uh, to Saudi. Uh, but the overall peace here is we're also going to try to reduce the deaths and, and the war that's occurring. I mean, there's a whole range of things that go well beyond anything having to do with Saudi in particular. But, but if, the, if you were to see the crown prince or the king, would you ask them to increase oil production? No, I'm not going to ask. I'm going to ask. There's the, all the Gulf states are meeting. I indicated to them that I thought they should be increasing oil production generically, not to the Saudis particularly. And I think we're going to, I hope we see them in their own interest, concluding that makes sense to do. And, uh, you know, they have real concerns about, uh, about what's going on in, uh, in Iran and other places in terms of their security as well, all of them.